Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Last summer, DeWalt released their first 8 volt gyroscopic screwdriver. This year they've stepped it up and they've released, just released a, an electrician's professional version gyroscopic screwdriver with conduit reaming applications. And um, first off, I am not an electrician, um, far from it. And when I first saw this announcement, I thought, eh, that's kind of cute, that's kind of cute. And I couldn't really see uh, the practical applications of a tool like this. But I've got a bunch of electricians friends, and I kind of mentioned it to them and said, hey, what do you think? And first thing they thought of was like, how does it work? And I explained it to them, and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But once I told them what it did and how it worked, they were like, boy, that sounds like it would be a great tool because, you know, all day long, they're taking a screwdriver and they're twisting their wrist. And after a while, you know, they get sore. It's, it's you know, carpal tunnel and all that jazz. And uh, they spend a lot of time twisting. And to have a tool like this that would take all of that twisting away um, sounded like a great idea to them. So I talked to DeWalt. They sent me one of these. I got them in the hand of the electricians and let them work with them for a while. Now, first off, gyroscopic technology, I'm not going to claim to understand how it works. Um, I have a vague idea. But basically for this tool, what you do is there's a trigger down here. And actually I like where the trigger is positioned because it gives you two different ways you can handle it. But once you depress the trigger, you're going to hear the unit hum for a while. There's also a light indication up here of uh, how much battery charge you have left. But that humming basically tells you that's the zero point. If you turn it to the right, you're going to see it's going to start spinning to the right. If you turn it to the left, it's going to start spinning to the left. Now it's also going to spin speed-wise for how much you turn it. If I turn it more, it's going to spin more. If I go back to the zero, it'll stop. If I turn it back to the right, it's going to spin to the right. Now, that allows the electrician not to have to twist his wrist all day long, but it also gives him some control. Unlike, let's say, an impact driver or a, a drill, you're pulling the trigger and your, your only control is on the trigger. This one is actually gives them a little bit of touch and feel with their wrist. Now, that's really neat. And I thought, hey, that's gimmicky, that's cute. But no, it's it's really, it's gonna save a lot of wear and tear on the electrician's wrist. Now, I mentioned the trigger earlier, and why I like this is, for applications where you have to be farther away and you can't get in, you can hold it back here and operate it. Now, if you feel like you need a little more control and you need to get in, you can move your hand to the front and you can operate this trigger with your pinky so you can get in a little closer and it doesn't take much pressure to activate that trigger so that trigger is in a really nice location actually I just noticed something that I thought was a fault with this was when I put it in the bag I was fearful that it could sit here pressed on something and you can hear it vibrating and wear out the battery I just noticed there's actually a trigger lock underneath there I hadn't noticed that before so whenever you store it in the bag you can prevent it from wearing out your battery. Um, before I get into the conduit reaming application, this unit, which is, I forgot to mention, it is the DCF681. Should have mentioned that at the beginning and I'll have that in the text. But this unit comes with a bag, charger, two eight volt batteries, the drill, and a single Phillips bit head, or um, bit. Now, the bit goes in, it's magnetic, so it, it's held into place. You're not going to lose it. All right, let's get into the conduit reaming applications. Um, let's say you're working. You can leave your bit right in. You get yourself a piece of conduit. Cut it off, however, with a grinder. Um, however you cut it off, metal chop saw or one of these. Well, once you cut it off, you end up with a sharp, sharp edge. Every electrician knows this. They have their own special tricks. Some of them take a screwdriver, go in there. Um, if you've got one of these, these come with a razor blade in them. Stick them in the hole and just ream it out. Now that gets the inside, but you also have to deburr the outside. This little device has a cone here. And when you push the conduit onto this cone and push it down, there's a few metal teeth that come out. Um, what was the conduit size? Half inch, three quarter, and one inch conduits you can ream out with this device. Now, <clears throat> once you put your conduit into the hole and you depress, 
you hold your trigger, those the teeth come out and you can start reaming your conduit with this. And you can go both directions with it too. And once you're done, you're ended up with a very, very clean burr-free surface. Um, it actually works on both edges, the inside and the outside edge. And that keeps you from nicking any of your wires. Um, and any electrician knows, any conduit you cut, you've got to deburr it. This does a fabulous job. Um, I've only used it on this uh, um, half inch conduit so far, because that's all that I have. And uh, the electricians I gave it to, they didn't do a lot of conduit work, but um, they really liked the idea of how well this was going to deburr. I mean, they played with it a little bit. Um, like I said, this has a, a gauge in here that tells you how much fuel is left in your battery. A little short, little tiny 8 volt batteries in here. Now, using this as a screwdriver, you know, electrical, you don't need a lot of torque. I actually use this and I put some screws into um, some sections of my workbench that I needed to. And I was able to drive three inch screws with this. This actually has a, a good amount of torque. Um, this is into a pine workbench, so it um, wasn't like I was going into any hardwood, but this thing really has some power to it. And um, it's going to handle anything an electrician could pretty much throw at it. And uh, it's a neat tool. And I can now I can see talking to electricians how this could actually be a worthwhile practical tool. And um, for a guy who's do, making his living turning to the dirt all day, this is probably something you want to take a look at. So I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Talk to you later.